This is a banana. 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 And this is a boat. Bananas don't belong on boats. I'm gonna tell you a story about how a banana broke our video camera. Bananas don't belong on boats. And we learned this in Alaska when Chris tried to take a banana on the fishing boat, the halibut fishing boat. It's going out for a day trip to go halibut fishing <laughs> And I had two bananas with me for a snack because who doesn't like bananas for a snack? And uh, I was getting on the boat. Captain Jim started screaming, no, 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 no. You can't take bananas on the boat. So I learned you don't take bananas on the boat. Because they're bad luck. Bad luck. Not sure exactly why, but bananas are bad luck on a boat. So. I think it goes back to those days of, of getting scurvy back like in the 1200s no or don't something. Don't make stuff up. No, I think that's I think that's how it works. But I would think bananas would keep you from getting scurvy. Oh, so you'd want bananas on the boat. <laughs> Me? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So, fast forward to the year 2020, which is now. Yep. Fast forward to us getting on a boat. We're going whale shark watching. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. We're going to go swim Super with the whale excited. sharks. Really excited. I get my breakfast. Grab a muffin. Grab an apple, a little bit of granola, grab a banana. Because who doesn't love bananas? And I'm looking at Chris, I'm like, you're not going to take a banana on the boat, are you? I actually grabbed two bananas. And he said, no, I'm going to eat both of them. Yep, I'm going to eat like, them okay. on the bus. I knew we had a bus ride to get to the boat. So I'm going to eat them on the bus, no problem. So we get to the boat, and we're walking out there, and I'm going to get on, and I'm look over into my bag. I say, dang it, I got a banana. You only eat one banana. I only eat one banana. So I took my banana and I set it down on the dock. Didn't touch the boat. It didn't come onto the boat. I set the banana on the dock. Our guide, on the other hand, likes bananas on boats. So he picks it up and he starts to bring it on the boat. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You can't bring a banana on a boat. <laughs> can't do it. And he laughs at me because he knows it's true. And he says, no, my friend, this banana will be good luck. <laughs> I said, you're tempting your fate and the fate of all of us on this boat. But he did it anyway. Yep, he brought a banana on board. Brought a banana on board. I mean, the day started off great. Beautiful we day. found a lot of whale sharks. So many we couldn't chase after Things them were going awesome. I'm exhausted from swimming with whale sharks. They were everywhere. It was amazing. We got to just lazily float around with them, watch them feed. So much food out there, they're doing great. And I'm like, oh man, I'm tired of swimming with the whale sharks. So I got out of the boat and I came up and I grabbed our video camera because Lindsay was still swimming out there. And she's just following along with this one, nice and gentle, having a great time. And all of a sudden we hear some like, I don't know, was it profanity? <laughs> it was something like that. Because it turns out our friends Lost their GoPro. Yep. Brand new GoPro Hero 8, and it fell off his wrist and sank to the bottom. Bloop, 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 bloop. And so I blame the banana on that. So they started planning on how to get their GoPro back and whether they could dive down and, and pick it up or not. Lindsay's completely oblivious to the drama. She's off swimming with the whale shark, having a great time. I'm up on deck of the boat with our video camera filming Lindsay because it's like that picture perfect moment. The water is perfectly calm. Lindsay's just swimming around. I mean, it was, it was beautiful. She's in the zone, whale sharks in the zone, just a great time. And then all of a sudden, he got, oh, wow. Got it. Oh, oh my God. God. Yes, you are. Wow. It was amazing. It was a cool moment. It was really cool. Cause we're like, how in the world it's 30 feet, 35 feet deep sandy bottom a little bit of drift it could have gone anywhere and he was able to dive down and find it so we were thinking maybe bananas aren't bad luck and maybe bananas can go on boats because that was pretty good fortune getting that gopro back and then our video camera broke our video camera broke it just went black completely quit working dead 
Yep, we have no idea what happened. Dead. It just died. Two years, almost two years to the day of running perfect, great, great video camera. And we hadn't had issues with it no lately. No issues. No issues. It's it, been working fine. It was working great. I'm filming, and I'm then, filming, I'm filming, and then... Death. Death. So, that's the story of how a banana broke our video camera. We blame the banana. Remember the number one rule of bananas and boats. It's the number one rule. Don't bring a banana on board. Don't bring a banana on board a boat. Slightly related note, we are down to filming with just our GoPro. Yep. So you may notice already our videos look a little bit different. This one does at least. The sound's a little bit different. And maybe my face is a little bit fatter. And we're trying to, you know, cope with it, do as best we can. Yeah. But all we have is our GoPro 7. I mean, so. we, we lost we lost our homie. So we are going to be making our way back to Arizona. God willing, we can get another camera when we get back to the States in a couple months. But in the meantime, we are filming everything with our GoPro, which I personally, after I got over the loss of our friend, I got kind of excited about it because I was like, this is a, this is a challenge. <laughs> can we actually make decent videos that people want to watch with our GoPro? And if we can, what a cool commercial for GoPro. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I didn't think of that. Yeah, if we can make this work and we get enough people excited about our story and all of the cool things that are going on, GoPro should be pretty happy about it. Because we are now exclusively using our GoPro 7. Yep. Which we love. And we loved already, but we didn't love it necessarily more than yeah. the other camera. I mean, we like, just did it for the action you, stuff and the you, water stuff. You don't love one so. child more than another, right? <laughs> so we couldn't love one camera more than the other. But now we only have one. It's like... I mean, it's sad. It's the passing of... Sacrifice? Of, yes, sacrifice. We sacrificed our camera so that our friends could have their GoPro. And now our GoPro is going strong. Hopefully it doesn't break. If it does break, you won't know because we won't be able to film it. <laughs> yeah. Our videos will just... <laughs> They'll just stop. Don't assume um, we're dead. I guess we then have our iPhone. Don't assume we're dead. Assume that the camera is dead. But yeah, we could use our iPhones, I guess. So wrapping things up, we're excited about this new season of our documentarian-style filmmaking day in the life of Chris and Lindsay and Everest called to wander with the GoPro doing the exclusive filming of our lives. It's pretty exciting. Yep. So we hope that you'll enjoy these videos as well. We hope you'll continue to follow along. I think the story's going to get better. I think... We're gonna have better videos. I just got that feeling. Okay. I still want I still want our camera back. I, mean, I do too. Don't don't get me wrong. I mean GoPro earmuffs. Mm -hmm. GoPro earmuffs. I, I like mm -hmm. that camera a lot. So I wanna get it back. Yeah. But we'll I get it back. I think this is gonna be a really fun challenge. So we'll make it work. We are gonna make it work. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Thanks for being part of our lives. If you like this video, you're supposed to do what? Subscribe. That would be if good. If you haven't already. We appreciate it. Comment. Nice comments, though. And hit that like button. Because who doesn't like Chris and Lindsay? 